الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام الرسول اللہ وعلیٰ علی وصاب اجمعین اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ماکان محمد ابا عہدم مرجا لکم ولاخی رسول اللہ و خاتم النبین و خان اللہ بکل شعین علیمہ رب شہلی صدری و یسلی عمری وحل العقد تم السانی افقہ کولی my respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters i welcome all of you with the islamic greetings assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may peace mercy and blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of almighty god be on all of you the topic of this evening's talk is muhammad peace be upon him in the various world religious scriptures many people have a misconception that islam is a new religion which came into existence 1400 years ago and prophet muhammad peace be upon him is the founder of this religion in fact islam is there since time immemorial since man set foot on this earth and prophet muhammad peace be upon him is not the founder of this religion but he is the last and final messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of almighty god which was sent for the whole of humankind the glorious quran says in surah fatir chapter number 35 verse number 24 wa im min ummatin illa khalafiha nazir there is not a nation to whom we have not sent a warner Allah says in Surah Rod, chapter number 13, verse number 7, Wali kulli kaman had, and to every nation have we sent a guide. By name, there are 25 prophets of Almighty God mentioned in the Quran. For example, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. There are no less than 25 prophets mentioned in the glorious Quran by name. But Allah also says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 164, and Surah Ghafir, chapter number 40, verse number 78, we narrate to you the stories of some of the messengers, of some of the prophets, of the others we don't. That means all the prophets have not been mentioned by name in the glorious Quran. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's a Sahih Hadith, which is mentioned in Mishkad al-Masabi, volume number three, hadith number 5737. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent about 124,000 prophets on the face of the earth. But by name, only 25 are mentioned in the Quran. But all the messengers that came before the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they were only sent for their people. And the complete message which they brought was only meant to be followed in totality till a particular time period. All the messengers that came before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they were only meant for a particular group of people. For example, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was only sent for the Jews, for the Bani Israel. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 49, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was sent as a messenger to the Bani Israel, to the children of Israel. The same message is repeated in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says to the Bani Israel, I've been sent as a messenger to you. And the same message is even repeated in the Bible. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse number 5 and 6. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, he tells to his apostles that, Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? The non-Jews, the Hindus, the Muslims. Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Enter ye not into the city of the Samaritans, but rather go to the lost ship of the house of Israel. The same message repeated in the Gospel of Matthew. 
chapter number 15, verse number 24, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, that I have not been sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That means, according to the Quran and the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was only sent for the money Israel, only for the Jews, for the children of Israel.